Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uzi, and we're, of course, back again. Hi. Hey. Hope you're doing uh, great today. So, we got chapter 69 of Dragon Ball Super just came off of the Boruto chapter. So, if you are coming from that video, definitely thanks for checking that out. And if you haven't, please go ahead and do check that reaction out after you're done with this one. So, uh, 69, the evolution of planet cereals. So, we got Cerulean's. All right, we got heat characters. Um, it's so crazy to uh, realize how the, how far we can go in a Dragon Ball universe and constantly make up all of these like food related and temperature related um, characters in the Dragon Ball universe. I think that's kind of funny at the same time, as well as it being very unique and surprising because it's just like wow, like you feel like Akira Toriyama just runs out of names, but nope, he's got plenty more to go. Just like we got plenty more pages to read. This is, oh, this is a big one, actually. It's 48 pages, so let's get right into it. All right, so my man is going home, is my guess. Here goes Granola. Welcome back, Granola. Can you fix up the left wing on my ship? It took some damage. Of course. When do you expect to depart again? I won't have any jobs for a while, so take your time. Okay. Please try to take some time off yourself. Uh, off for yourself. Yeah. That's the plan. That and that too. Owen, some of your top shelf water, please. You got it. How's the old guy doing these days? He doesn't come into town much anymore. His legs been giving him trouble, but others, others why? Otherwise, he's fine. I see. He's over five hundred years old, damn. Though his people have long lifespans, so that's not too surprising. Why do you two live on that far off mountain instead of around here with us? We sugarians. <laughs> the the sugarians. Uh, we the sugarians. That's probably how it's pronounced. It sounds a lot better that way. The, the, we sh we sugarians would welcome you with open arms. Nah, sorry, but this city wouldn't suit us. See ya. Hang on. Here, an extra bottle on the house. Oh, how nice. The Yo, the Shigarians are so sweet. Give my regards to the old guy. Who is this old guy? Say, Granola, why don't you live amongst the Shigarians? The city was set up for them by the heaters. It's not meant for me. But was this not once the planet of the Cerulean's? Sure, 40 long years ago. After our planet was ravaged by Frieza's army, the heaters swooped in and started rebuilding. The Shigarians had lost their own planet and were roaming through space at the time, so they paid well for this planet. <laughs> this place became their home, so we decided to move to this mountain. I see. Necessary distancing in pursuit of uh, amenable cohab cohabitation. Something like that. Plus, I can see my hometown from the top of the mountain. The one Frieza's people destroyed. It's a reminder of what they did to my planet. That way, I'll never forget. Wow. So he has like an overlook of where of, of where his, his John used to be. He'll always get reminded of that. How many planets have you Saiyans destroyed? Hard to say. Fighting was the only way of my life for my people, so we had a way of racking up sin after sin. Sin, huh? However, it wasn't until Frieza's clan came along and began using us that the destruction and invasions became business as usual. Oh, this is Vegeta, of course, talking, if you couldn't already tell. You trying to lay all the blame for your wicked, wo your wicked ways on Frieza and his people? Not in the least. In his pursuit for power, my father built his own kingdom atop, a, atop countless deaths. Frieza's clan taking control didn't help, but the seeds of the Saiyans' destruction were sown before that. So it was the Saiyans' destiny to be wiped out then. I'd say so. Hmm. Ridiculous. But never mind that. My people's problems aren't your concern. I'm saying it's ridiculous. Well, what? What do you mean? Weren't you going to show me a technique used by gods of destruction? Oh, what could that possibly have to do with the history of the Saiyans? Plenty. <gasps> oh! 
Wait a minute, he just destroyed the moon. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. What's what's about to happen? The Oracle just broke out the tank, hopped right back in, I think. Uh oh. It just wait, what? It just oh it, just, it literally took <laughs> it took water and put it right back in. That was too far, Beers. You just destroyed another decorative planet. Oh, that was a planet. Honestly, at this rate, if he keeps destroying things, we'll be fresh out of planets before you know it. Whoa. Lord Beerus is not someone to mess with. Wait. Oh, he said, well, was that the technique? That was just a small glimpse of what I can do. How can I acquire such? Oh, and he gets snuffed right on the ground. What's the meaning of this? As long as doubt weighs down your soul, this power will never be yours to wield. To doubt, you say? Your own crimes aside, you're feeling guilty for the sins of all saints. That's awfully self-centered of you, mortal. And here my dumbass really thought that he did that to trigger their inner, like, ape shit to start coming out and them turning into freaking Ozara. Just think about the last time we saw Great Ape Vegeta. Okay, that would have been kind of fire to see that happen. Would have made no sense, but I mean, you know, if Broly could almost do it. All right, let me not. Anyway, he crashes him into a tree. He's all busted up. Here's a fun fact. The oh, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. The one who suggested that Frieza eliminate the Saiyans was me. What? Still think it was destiny? You're just going to accept that? Go on, try me. I'll obliterate you too, you utter scum. <laughs> oh, yo, Goku's like, Vegeta? What's he up to? My man went, sh I'm pretty sure this is Blue Evolution. This is Blue Gatorade Diamond right here. At least Blue. God, he's charging him. He's charging. He's trying to fight. Ooh, but Beerus dodged him no problem. Yo, he's dodging no problem. Kicks him back. Vegeta sending out the barrage of key blasts. Now he's zooming in, trying to go for the for the overhand double fist palm, John. Oh, Beerus is not there. And Beerus slams him to the ground. Coup de gras style. Everything those Saiyans did in the past. What's it got to do with you now? As long as you're trapped by the past, you'll never manage to grow past this point. <laughs> Yo, so now Vegeta is freaking going in, trying to get a hit, and we're halfway through, by the way. Catches us. Oh, destruction. Oh, he said Hakai. Yo, he sent him flying like Team Rocket, son. Lord Beerus' signature move, huh? I kind of messed up that time I tried copying it. It still has that much power, even though he tweaked it so that only Vegeta's armor was destroyed. <laughs> It's not a power that's easily mastered, says Whis. My mind's always on destruction and nothing else. That's why there's no limit to my power. <sighs> I just thought of something. Listen, if you really want this power, you're going to have to destroy any stray thoughts and recreate yourself from scratch. Before creation comes destruction. Get it? <laughs> Yo, okay, I like this. This is actually kind of fire, I'm not going to lie. Bingo, check it out, Elik. His hunk of junk must have visited Zuno at one point. Jot down the coordinates, oil. Got it. So the Galactic Patrol was waiting to ambush Sabang or Sangambo and his gang of idiots, huh? Right, the Galactic Patrols got jurisdiction over the whole sector. Makes sense that we were never able to find Zuno. Anyway, let's go grill oil, grill old Zuno for intel that'll lead to a payday for us. Hold on. What are we seeing here? I, yo, this guy, he gives me the Cell vibes. I don't know if I said that last chapter, but this man really sounds like he could be voiced by uh, the same Cell voice actor. Uh, let's see here. The convicts in the galactic prison were all freed at once. How'd that happen? 
According to OG73I's data, Moro used the power of something called the Dragon Balls to release the prisoners. Dragon Balls? What are those? Wishing balls created by the Namekians. They can grant any wish. Any wish at all? Y yes, Moro also used them to regain his magic powers. I see. It's all adding up now. This could explain some of the strange stuff that's been going on in the universe. Decent chain, uh, decent chance it was there. It was there. These dragon balls that revived Frieza too. So, so these balls are just out there somewhere. Heh, <laughs> this guy delivered us some intel way more valuable than Zuno's location. Namekians, huh? Why does that sound so familiar? I've heard about the about them somewhere. The Namekians were a tribe that used to live on planet Serial. <gasps> what? Right. Those green dudes who shared that planet with the Cerulians. But wouldn't that mean they're extinct now too? Not quite. I just remembered. There was a lone survivor, an old fart named Monaito. Monaito? And it just so happens that he lives with our pal Granola. <gasps> Monaito's a Namekian? Holy. Planet Serial. This man watching cartoons. I got some water for you. You're always so good to me, Granola. What the fuck? How's work going? Profitable, if nothing else. That's so. Good to hear. And your friend at the shop says hi. Even gave us a little extra bottle. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't dropped by in a good while. Those Shigarians <laughs> Shig sure do treat us kindly. They probably feel a little bad about moving to our planet when we were here first. Well, they shouldn't. I've got no complaints about our life here. Yeah, I guess not. Are you heading out again right away? Got more jobs lined up? No, I've got some time off. Frieza somehow come back to life. Frieza, you say? Did I hear that right? Yeah, that's why everyone's laying low for now, which means no jobs for me. Well, ain't that the way? So them heaters haven't put a bounty on Frieza's head yet? I don't think so. Even the heaters aren't exactly eager to mess with Frieza's army. I see. But whether, whether there is money in it or not, I'll be the one to take down Frieza and his goons. Don't even try it. You know you don't have the power to tangle with Frieza. Power. In that case, I might have to resort to that. <gasps> what is it? Is that a Dragon Ball? <gasps> Oh my god, they have Dragon Balls on this planet. Tell me they have Dragon Balls on this planet. If this planet was once shared by the Namekians, there's Dragon Balls on this, John. Oh my god, we're gonna see another Paranga. We're gonna see another Paranga. No, the Dragon Balls ain't for taking revenge. Yeah, I know. Moot point, oh, anyway, since I need the second one to make a wish. The second one? Hold up. Darn right, it's been lost for 40 years, likely never to be seen again. I'd have to search this entire planet for a, a tiny ball just like this one. Listen, Granola, the Dragon Balls began as part of a ritual to celebrate brave Namekian warriors. They're not meant to fulfill any old selfish desire. Planet Namek. Today, you're going to learn more about Dragon Balls. Sets of Dragon Balls vary in size and number depending on who created them. Just when you think you fucking know everything in Dragon Ball, there is so much more. <sighs> That's amazing. They've done it again. They did it again. They wowed me. They definitely wowed me. And a lot of things I, I did not expect. So, thank you. Congratulations to Toriyama and uh, Toyotaro for for doing the, doing the thing. Okay, on our planet, each village elders holds one of those balls. But originally, the wishes were meant as rewards for bold warriors who sought out the Dragon Balls in times of great suffering. Do other planets have Dragon Balls too? It's certainly possible on planets where our kind reside. 
like Earth. You mean Dende's Dragon Balls? <laughs> right. Do our people live on any other planets? Most likely, though we can't possibly know of all of them. You see, we Namekians moved to this universe from another realm altogether? What is going on? Where are the Namekians originally from? They're not from this universe? So are they from universe 6? Where, 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 where? Explain. I need these answers. And I've heard that some settled in places far from planet Namek. What happened to those other Namekians? I wouldn't know. They may yet live. Or perhaps they were wiped out ages ago. A couple dozen Namekians used to live here on planet Serial, but now it's just me. When I pass, that's it. The end. Kaput. The Dragon Ball go with me. But... but what if I find the other ball and wish for our planet to be restored the way it was 50 years ago? Then what of the well-meaning Shigarians who settled here? Would you kick them off their newfound home? Then Frieza and his army have to be eliminated. Like I said, revenge ain't the way. That only gives rise to new enemies. And then what? Fine, you're right. Give up on the Dragon Balls and enjoy the lot we've been handed in life. I'd better get some sleep. You should turn in early too. Yeah. Oh, he gonna look for that. He gonna look for that other Dragon Ball. And what I want to know is, why is there? Why is there only two? Or maybe the other six are, or the other five are already like there. But they, I don't know. We'll see. So now he's sleep. He's watching TV. Sugar toast love. Sugar toast love. Tasty breakfast. Oh, test tasty breakfast. <laughs> and now the news. You were listening to Sugar Toast Love. A local boy was hunting for bugs in the mountains when he discovered a strange ball in a crevice. <laughs> it's an orange crystal of some sort of two star with some sort of two star shaped markings on the side. Special specialists at the institute say it's possible that the ball did not originate on planet cereal and are currently conducting research. I like the pacing. I like this arc. I'm not gonna lie. I really do like this arc. So here he goes. He's in the city. He's a, he's he's exploring. Uh oh! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! He did take it. He found it. Oh, but he managed to escape. Hey, Granola, are you going to ignore the old man's warnings? It'll be fine, Oatmeal. I've got a plan. There we go. Monaito once told us the spell to summon the dragon, right? Remind me how it goes. Yes, of course. Summoning time. Takarapto totoronbo pupirito paro. Whoa, yo, this is a brand new Shenron. You're the wish granting dragon. You who have collected two dragon balls, state your wish. If it is within my power, your single wish is my command. Any wish, you need not state your wish in his language. I want to be the strongest. Turn me into the greatest warrior in the universe. Damn, this is actually going to be fire. All right, so I'm definitely going to give it to uh, Dragon Ball Super this month for winning. I normally like to mention this on Twitter after I read both chapters of Boruto and Dragon Ball Super since they do come out. Um, they coincide with each other every month. And uh, dude, this chapter was fire. This chapter was ridiculous. It was completely OD. And look at how much lore... And how much they fit in that one chapter. We learned so many things. We learned that Namekians, first of all, are not even from Universe 7. They are literally from another universe. I'm going to take a guess and maybe it's Universe 6. Because that's the only other universe that we saw them from. And then, not to mention, they only aren't just from Planet Namek. They're actually from Planet Serial. And then, they are across plenty other planets. 
and all those other planets probably have Dragon Balls too. And what else did we learn? We learned that you don't just need seven. Seven is and has been the standard that we have always learned are true. But think about it this, like this. This dude, Granola, his planet cereal only had two Dragon Balls. And he said the spell to summon the dragon. Now, I'm wondering if that's only because if there are actually seven or if there was two, but he still said a chant that was able to bring forth this dragon at two star at two Dragon Balls. I'm wondering if that same concept could be applied to the Dragon Balls that we know of right now. The ones where we, I mean, the Super Dragon Balls. There's seven uh, Super Dragon Balls. There's Super. There, there's seven Dragon Balls on Earth, and then there was always seven Dragon Balls on Namek. And here on Planet Serial, there's two. Right. So I'm wondering. Like, if that's just a thing, or, I mean, it depends on whoever creates the Dragon Balls on whatever planet, if, like, why they only made two and not seven, or, like, there, dude, there's, there's literally so much now that it's like you have to ask and you have to question because it just adds so much more stuff. And the fact that we finally got Beerus's truth to be told in front of Vegeta, and Beerus is literally the one has, that, that instructed Frieza to... Destroy the Saiyans. He said that to Vegeta's face to awaken, to pretty much destroy him, to build him back up again. Because in order to create, you have to destroy. And that right there is so good. And you know what's crazy? We had barely any Goku in this chapter. And you notice that. Notice how when the, 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 the series takes attention and points it at other characters and other beings and other things that are going on within the Dragon Ball universe. Look how much freaking awesomeness is going on at once. Look how much story, look how much lore, look how much crap is happening all at the same time. And my man Granola literally just wished for himself to be the strongest warrior in the universe. So how is that supposed to fare against the likes of Goku, who's currently trying to unlock more levels of mastered ultra instinct, and then this destruction Vegeta that's in the wor in the, in the middle of being that, right? And of course we have to question Frieza, because I'm sure Frieza at some point is going to show up because he has been name dropped so many times within this arc alone that it's bound to happen. Granola is clearly going to try and track them down. And, and, and if this two star, or I'm sorry, but if this two dragon balled dragon, which we don't really know if he actually has a name yet, um, that has not been revealed. And I actually do like this design of this Shenron, if you will, right? He looks kind of dope. Um, I wonder if that is within his power, if, if it's in within their, their power to even grant that kind of a wish. Because again, you have to question if, if you're making a wish at, with two Dragon Balls, you have to question the amount of power that that dragon possesses. And, you know, it takes the universal Dragon Balls, the super Dragon Balls to even wish for shit that you normally couldn't wish for with the Earth Dragon Balls and the Namekian Dragon Balls. I mean, all sort like, they're, each, if you look, each set of balls has, oh my god, <laughs> they each have their own set of rules. So I, I really wonder if he's actually going to get his wish. And I'm glad that they ended the chapter there because it has us wondering, it has us thinking, like, what could actually happen going forward. Um, and I'm thinking maybe as a swerve, because right now we think, oh, he's going to get that granted. But what if he can't get that granted? What would be the next best thing at that point? So, again, when there's a lot of things to question, where we are looking for hella answers, you have to wonder, are they doing a good job? And to my regard, I really am enjoying this arc a lot so far. And the fact that even though they are, you know, squishing this in, literally in the middle of this end of z and i can tell you this right now they are literally within a plot hole right now go watch the last episode of dragon ball z or it's like the second to last something like that and read the last chapter they literally said it's been five years and they have literally like passed that threshold so it's neither here nor there i feel like that ending is gonna get retconned
once we ever do get to that point. So with all that in, in mind, guys, thank you for sticking uh, this or sticking around for this long. If you if you are still watching this video, make sure if you are still, please make sure you go ahead and like that video. Uh, leave a comment what your favorite parts of this chapter uh, was in the comments below. Uh, make sure you are hitting me up on Discord uh, and Twitter. And check out all my sporting links on uh, the, in the description. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.